The president of Delaware State University is responding after an incident involving the school's women's lacrosse team went viral. The team's bus was pulled over in Georgia for traveling in the wrong lane. Then officers announced they would be searching their luggage looking for drugs. A number of the players say they felt racially profiled. NBC10 Delaware Bureau reporter Tim Furlong spoke with the team's coach today. The head coach of the Delaware State University women's lacrosse team still upset about what happened to her team April 20th coming home on I-95 in Georgia. They're pulling our luggage out and they have dogs going through, sniffing through our belongings. Liberty County Sheriff's Department officers pulled the team's charter bus over for driving in the fast lane. You guys are on a lacrosse team, correct? It turned quickly into officers questioning the young ladies about drugs in their luggage. To this point, they had no reason to believe there were drugs on the bus and none were ever found. If there is anything in y'all's luggage, we're probably going to find it. Okay? I'm not looking for a little bit of marijuana, but I'm pretty sure you guys are chaperone. And their response was on this stretch of highway uh, that a lot of buses like this are smuggling people and narcotics and that they have to be vigilant about checking. Sydney is on the lacrosse team and has since written an article about the ordeal for this HBCU's student newspaper. Went from two officers to six officers and they brought out their canine. They started smelling our bags, going through everything, our personal hygiene, like underwear and everything in the bags. And they did that for about 20 minutes. Sydney and her coach quite sure this would not have happened to a bus full of predominantly white women's players. Yes, Have I explained it pretty good? Yes. Okay. The president of Delaware State University says he's absolutely incensed by this. He says he's now reached out to Delaware's governor and congressional delegation and attorney general. He's also reached out, he says, to Georgia law enforcement. He wants answers as to why this happened, and he hasn't ruled out taking legal action. Coach isn't sure what would make this right, but she says an apology from the African-American sheriff of Liberty County might be a start. That would be great, yes. Yes, an apology uh, and just some acknowledgement that this isn't, like, this isn't something our student athletes have to look forward to. Like, this is not okay that that happened to us. In Dover, Tim Furlong, NBC10 News. NBC10 reached out to Liberty County, Georgia's sheriff today, and we were told they would have a statement, but at this point we still have not received one.